what's up guys welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can earn from the binance p2p platform there's so much arbitrage opportunity on the p2p platform you might have watched so many videos on youtube talking about the p2p arbitrage opportunity on binance i'm here to let you know that yes that is true there's so much arbitrage opportunity on the binance platform if you take advantage of it and you can put in the work you are going to make money now just a little disclaimer before we continue i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a professional financial advisor so this is not a financial advice this video is for information and education purpose so just bear that in mind that this is not a financial advice and you don't have to take it this is what i've done based on my research and i know it's workable that is why i want to share this information and educate you about this so guys that being said let's get into the video let me show you the opportunity that we have here okay so if you're new to the arbitrage business you don't know what arbitrage is i'm just going to tell you what arbitrage is in a bit what is arbitrage arbitrage is an investment strategy in which an investor simultaneously buys and sells an asset in different markets to take advantage of the price difference and generate a profit while the price differences are typically small and short-lived the returns can be impressive when multiplied by by a large volume okay guys i had to bring us here to read this and have this understanding before we go into what we're going to do i already made a video that covers this giving you an overview of arbitrage so you can watch that video on my channel here but i just brought us here to look at this so i'm going to be laying emphasis on the fact that the spread is quite small and it's short-lived okay so there are a few things we need to note okay so what you have note number one is buying and selling of assets so this asset can be whatever okay but you are buying the asset in one market and you're selling in another market but for the purpose of this video our asset right now is cryptocurrency okay then number two you should bear in mind is the fact that it is done simultaneously you don't buy and keep it you buy and you sell it that is what we're talking about then number three the profit is typically small and short-lived the market is very volatile so it moves very very fast you need to buy and sell immediately and make your profit and then number four, low yield risk. Okay, so the risk involved in this kind of arbitrage that I'm going to be showing you has a very low yield. The risk is very, very minimal. So that being said, let's get back to the Binance platform. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, guys, we're back here on the Binance platform and I'm going to be taking you to the P2P platform. I'm using my laptop to do this recording because I just want you to have a bigger view of what I'm going to be doing. You can also do this on your mobile phone it's the same thing once you have the binance app you can do the same thing but i'm just using my laptop so that we can have a bigger screen where we can look at what i'm doing so now i'm going to take you to the p2p platform okay so on my laptop here i'm going to show you when you come to buy crypto here using the binance.com website you now come here and you click on um, P2P because you have bank deposit, you have credit and debit card, you have P2P, you have cash balance, you have third party payment and all that. But now we are concerned about P2P. So I just want to click here on P2P. So guys, this is the P2P interface here on the Binance platform. And this is where we are going to be doing our business. We're going to be buying from um, the sell market and we're going to be selling on the buying market. Please do not get confused. I'm going to explain this to you. So now um, this is the platform. You can see the rate that people are selling as at the time of this recording. Now what you have to do when you come on the Binance platform here and you want to sell. First of all, you have to become a merchant before you can actually sell on this platform. And I'm going to explain how you can become a merchant as we get along in this video. But meanwhile, let's focus on how we can make this happen. If you watch this video to the end, I'm going to be explaining how you can become a merchant on this platform. It's very, very easy. You can become a merchant and then you can make your cool box on this platform. Um, now we want to buy and then sell at the same time. Just like we read from the PowerPoint that I showed you just now, you, you will see that the buying and the selling you know has a very minimal very very small profit so with this kind of arbitrage you do not expect to make huge profit because if you're waiting to make a huge profit you will end up not doing this business at all bear in mind that doing arbitrage the profit is usually small okay and then what you need to do to make more profit is to have a large volume of capital that you can do this business or you can turn it over a number of times so you can record good profit. 
that being said, let me take you through this process that I'm talking about and then we just walk through and remember, watch this video to the end because I'm going to be showing you how you can qualify yourself as a merchant to be able to sell on this platform and then you can make this money we're talking about. All right, guys, so now we want to buy. So when you come on the Binance P2P platform like this and you want to buy, you do not buy from here. The people who buy from this platform, they are customers who come and they need cryptocurrency, so they just buy from here. So it can be USDT, you can be BTC. It can be BTC, it can be BUSD, it can be BNB, Ethereum, NGN, and you know, all that. So depending on whatever cryptocurrency they want to buy, they come to this place as customers and they buy. But you are not coming to this page as a customer, you are coming here as a merchant. So what you need to do right now is to go to the sell section. So when you get to the sell section like this, you are going to place your advert so you can buy from people who have and they want to sell. You look at the completion rates, you look at the, the, the completion rates that, you know, these merchants here have. Okay, a lot of people here are actually ordinary merchants. Like I said, I'm going to explain all that in this video as we proceed. But now um, you want to put your ads. These people have put their ads as to how much they want to buy from customers who just come on the platform to sell. You have and then you want to sell instantly you just come to this place and you sell so as a buyer you come here you come and place your ads let me go to another page this is the first page but let me go to another page and show you okay let me go to another page let me go to let page three let's look at what is there on page three okay so you can see on this page now the price is dropping if on the sell section the price is from the highest to the lowest and on the buy section the price is from the lowest to the higher so let's take a look at it okay you can see here on this buy section the price is from the lowest to the highest so that means there are people who are selling more than 604 so let's go and take a look at that let's get to this page and see okay you can see people who are selling at 625 and you ask me are they actually making sales yes if they're not making sales they won't put this price and then stay here to want to sell all right so let's go back let's go back Let's go back to the first page. So we'll go back to the first page here. We're going to be using buying at the lowest price on the sell section and we come and sell on the buy side. Please guys, don't get confused. If you are a merchant, you are going to place your advert to buy. Okay, then by the time you buy, you now want to sell. So when you want to buy, you go to the sell section and place your advert. Okay, so the people here now have Naira and they want to sell to people who have USDT or who have cryptocurrency. So but let's just use USDT in this illustration. So now these people here, they have Naira, they have fiat currency in their bank account and you have cryptocurrency or somebody else has cryptocurrency in his or her Binance wallet and the person wants to sell immediately and cash out. So now you being a merchant you now come and place your advert here that you want to buy cryptocurrency so when the person who wants to sell to you comes the person will come to the sell section and click on sell usdt so because you are on the buying side it is you that have placed your advert telling the seller that you can buy from the seller at the rate of 608 naira then the, the, the seller will click on sell USDT to you. So once the seller clicks on sell USDT, you will have to pay the seller money. You pay the seller money and then the seller will release his or her USDT to you. By the time you finish buying from the, from the sell section, because you are buying here and the seller is selling to you, you now go to the buy section. When you come to the buy section, here you are now selling and then customers are coming to buy from you it is very easy don't get confused on the sell section you are the buyer a seller is selling to you on the buy section you are the seller a buyer is buying from you i hope you got that let me take it one more time on the sell section you are the buyer a seller is selling to you you are paying the person for the USD that the person is selling to you. So you are the one to make payment here to the seller. Then when you come to the buy section, you are now the seller and then the buyer will pay money to your account and you will release 
the cryptocurrency. So guys, that is how it works. So now I just want to take us through this process of buying and selling simultaneously. We'll buy in the sell market and we come and sell in the buy market. So now let's get back to the sell section. So we get to the sell section and then on the sell section here, we want to buy from people who are ready to sell. So the price here usually is from the highest to the lowest. So you can see that as we scroll downwards, the price is going down. You can see the volume that these people here want to buy. This one is buying between 10 million and 50 million. And then you ask, is this possible? If it is not possible, this person will not be here. And look at it. This person is a verified merchant. You can see it with my cursor here. You can just read it there. Verified merchant with high trading volume. This one too is a verified merchant with high trading volume. So they will not just come here and place an advert saying they can buy between 10 million and 50 million. And then you, you, you think they are joking or you think they're just putting it here. Guys, people are cashing out on this. So I just want us to see how we can use our little capital and then make some profit for ourselves. And then we have to look at the volume of sales, you know, cumulatively, what profit can we make in a month? If you're doing a nine to five job, how much are they paying you as salary? If you put that time into your own business, will you make more money? Will you make more profit? Those are the kind of things I want us to look at. Will you not have more time for yourself to say, okay, you can take a break. You can do this. You can close at this time. You can do that. Or do you want to combine it with your nine to five job and then make some extra money by the side? If you can create time for it, even if you just want to trade, even if it's two or three times a day and you want to use the weekend to make more money, there is a great arbitrage opportunity right here. So let's not prolong this video. Let's just get into this. So now we are going to look, um, we're going to look at other adverts. Okay. These prices here will keep changing. They are not static. The market is very volatile. I've said that already. So we're just going to go and just look at um, the competition right here. Now, these ones have put their prices like this. Of course, you'll be wondering how can they buy like this and then go and sell at 604 here. That's what I, I know you'll be wondering about. But like I said, you can see here that the price is from the lowest to the highest. That means there are people who are selling higher. And of course, if you come to the sell section, the price is from the highest to the lowest. So now let's look for the lowest price. You can see the page here is up to 154. So there are so many people here selling. So these ones, they want to be on the first page. That is why they are right here. If you look at the volumes, they are actually really very, very small. You can look at this. You can look this one is selling between 1,100 to 1,200. Okay. And most likely this person is going to tell you that he or she will deduct 100 Naira for transfer fee. And at the end of the day, the person you would have sold to you more than even this price that you are seeing here, because now they're going to deduct part of the money they are supposed to pay to you. So by the time you add that or you minus that, you discover that you're even paying more than this. Okay. But the advert shows that you are, you are buying at this rate and then you are happy that you, you are going to buy at this rate. So they do all this to just stay on the front page so they can easily sell. But most people who, who do this, if you look at the volume they are selling, it's really, really very small. Okay, guys. So now we're going to jump into the business. So let's see how much we can buy and how much we can sell and how much profit we can make. So as much as possible, you try to buy at a lower rate possible because when you get to the buy section where you are the seller, you have to make profit. That's what this is about. Now, this one's putting the advert here to buy. You can look at the volume they are buying. is very, very small. Very just between 1,000 and 1,600. And just look at most times like this 100 naira that is on top of this money the person may not necessarily get it because some people will just tell you that oh um they take 100 naira for transfer fees they've done that to me you know like that they take 100 naira for, for transfer fees and all that and then they end up paying you 2000 naira you'd have given them the volume of usdt worth 2100 so that's how a lot of people do here and then when you come you are placing your advert you also have to be smart so that you can buy at a very low rate and then you can sell so like i said before on the sell section the price is from the highest to the lowest so let's go and look at um some of the lower prices and see so let's look at the competition this is 603 let's let's keep going this is 603 let's go to page 9 so it's 603 page 11 i'm looking for 602 because that looks like a, a, a more comfortable place 
um, a more comfortable place for this business. Although you can set your advert at any rate that you want to sell, you can see that we're beginning to see the people who want to buy at 602. So these are people who want to buy from customers at 602. This one wants to buy between 1,000 naira and 5,000 naira. It's quite small. So that tells you that even if you have a small capital, you can actually still buy from people. You can still put out there are people who will come and they will buy like this. They don't want to buy so much. But when they come, the easiest way for them to get to you is to filter. So the person will just search and get to you or get to anybody who wants to buy within the volume. Like this last two here you can see that their volume is very very small that is the capital that they have that is the naira that they have that they want to buy from the sellers that come on this platform to sell 602 is actually a comfortable place for me to sit for this transaction so 602 so let's use 602 to make the calculation let's say we're buying at 60220 because that is what we can see on this page so we're buying at 602.20 so multiply it by, let's say we're buying 100 USDT. So 100 USDT. So your 100 USDT will be 60,220. So 60,220, just keep that in mind so you don't forget. We're going to come back to, to it. So 60,220. So let's quickly go to the buy section, which is the sell section for you, who is, who is selling. And then the buy section for customers who want to come and buy. Um, so now let's, let's work with this person. Let's work with this person. So let's say we are selling at, we have bought now, we are selling, we bought at 602.20 um, and then we want to sell at 604.41. So 6220 is what we bought. So now let's do 604.41 multiply by 100 USDT. So let's minus 60,220. That was what we bought. So we minus 60,220. And then, guys, you see we have 221 naira from just one transaction. Now, don't be moved. Don't say the money is too small. I already told us from the beginning that the profit is usually very small when it comes to arbitrage. So you need now um, to do a large volume to be able to get good profit. Meanwhile, we're using just $100, um, $100 which is about 60,000 naira. So from one transaction, you get this amount. Let's say you get this um, 221 naira. And then you can do this transaction like five times a day. Let's say multiply by five. You multiply it by five, you have 1,105 naira. Okay, guys, so now let's multiply this. You are just using your 60,000 naira to do it, or 60,300 naira, as the case may be, to do this transaction and making this profit. So you are making 1,105 per day. Let's multiply it by 30 days. By the time you do, it, do this business by 30 days, you can see what you have, right? I told you that I'm going to show you how you can make at least about 40% of your investment capital using this P2P method. Now your investment is about 60,220. Now you are going to be making 33,000 naira. So this is actually more than 50% of your investment capital in the month. So imagine that you are using a higher capital and then you're making this amount of profit every day. You are going to get more. We just calculated using $100, which are the rates on the platform here. We arrived at this. What you need to bear in mind is for you to ensure that the margin or the spread is not less than two naira if your spread is not less than two naira you can do this now some people may be wondering how can i do this five times a day now let me explain something let me just explain the trade window so we can understand why i said you can do up to five times in a day or more I, i'm just looking at five times if you're not a nine to five person and you have all the time you can do even more than five times a day but if you're a nine to five person you may not be able to do up to five times in a day guys you have to watch this video to the end because i'm still going to tell you at the end of this video how you can qualify to do this trade on this platform from like the people who are doing this trade here right now let me just break it down for you the trade window is about 35 minutes let's say the time that you have to pay the seller is 15 minutes window you have a 15 minutes window to pay the seller the seller has a 20 minutes window to get the alert and release the coin that is 35 minutes but guys you usually don't get to 35 minutes because sometimes yeah 15 minutes for you may, may work as in you may exhaust your 15 minutes and the trade could even get cancelled if you have net 
network issues. It almost happened to me. I, I was trying to make a transfer and the network was terrible, you know, but I got debited and the person got the alert just at the nick of time. And I just clicked on, I have made payment. So that particular trade was not canceled. So now if you have 15 minutes to make your payment, please use your bank that you know will not give you an issue in terms of transfer. So you have 15 minutes window to pay the seller and then the seller has 20 minutes window to release the coin to you. So once the coin is released, you place your advert immediately to sell. And for you to sell fast, you have to try to be on the first page. Now, how can you be on the first page? Let me show you. So when you come to the buy like this, this person now, you can see that he's selling at 604.41. This person is selling at 604.49. This one is selling at 604.68. So when you want to place your advert, you will come to this buy section where people like you are selling and then you will look at the, the people that are topping the first page. What is their rate? What is their rate? So you just try to make sure you're on the first page and especially be at the top. So if this person that is doing 604.41, by the time you do 604.40, you are going to rank above this person. The moment you buy the USDT from the seller, and you get to this point, make sure you rank number one or number two, or make sure you rank at least between number one to three, looking at the rate. By the time you do that, you'll be amazed at how fast you will sell your coin. By the time you sell your coin, you, you are placing another advert immediately for you to buy. You come back to the sell section here and you place an advert for you to buy. So by the time you're able to run this up to like five times in a day, you would have made the profit that we are talking about. So that is how to go about this. Yeah, this video is a bit lengthy is because I want to make sure I explain this to you bit by bit for you to understand. And if you are still confused, you can drop your comment in the comment section. You can join my Telegram group. You can chat me up on WhatsApp and I can attend to some of your concerns to the best of my ability. Okay. So basically that's why this video is a bit long. So just be patient and watch this video to the end. So I made that calculation and I want to, I want to show you another calculation. Let's say if you have a large capital, you are buying at 602 and then you are selling at 604. Um, let me remove, let me clean this up. So you are buying at, let's say you are buying at six, you are buying at 602. We did 602, 602.20. That was what we, we bought the, the first time. So 602.20 times, times $500. Let's say we're doing $500. So $500 will be 301 thousand one hundred three oh one one hundred just keep that write it somewhere so now we're selling at four six oh four so we're selling at six oh four point four one times five hundred can you see this the larger the volume the more the profit so now we're going to minus three oh one one hundred so we're going to do minus three Minus three zero one, so minus three oh one one hundred. So you are making a profit of one thousand one hundred and five naira from just one trade, from just one transaction. Okay, from just one transaction using your five hundred dollars. So now let's multiply. Let's say you are able to do like five times a day. Let's say you're able to do like five times a day. Let's multiply it by five. So by the time you multiply it by five, you can see you are making 5,525 naira. So let's multiply it by say 30 days. Let's multiply it by 30 days. Guys, can you see this? This is over 50%. Remember we bought with 301,100 and we're using 301,100 as our capital every day for 30 days. We're trading five times a day. And then we got this. Imagine that you are starting your trade in the morning by 9 a.m. So between 9 and 10 is one hour. So let's say 10, 11, 12, 1. That's four hours. Four hours within four hours. If we say that the trade window is 35 minutes, let's just say we're making it 40 minutes. If we're making it 40 minutes, if we're making it 40 minutes, let's say um, we're doing 40 minutes. 40 minutes times five. So we have... We have about 200 minutes. So mind you, we have added five minutes. So that gives us some space to go back and do this and set and wait for a buyer, of course. Um, so let's say uh, we now let's divide this. Let's divide this by 60. OK, so let's divide this um, by 60 minutes to know how many hours. 
So this is just about three, three hours, 30 minutes. So within the space of three hours, 30 minutes, you should have done five trades. So let's say give and take within the space of four hours, you should have done five trades. So if you start at 9 a.m. by 10, 11, 12, 1, you should have been done with your trade for the day if you are doing just five trades. And if you cannot achieve that and you can take um, the whole time, let's say you have nine to five and you want to take a break and then just do five trades or six trades a day, just do the math, do the math, do the calculation. You will see how much you will make. You will be making over 50% of your investment capital in a month. But guys, you have to put in the work. It is not make money while you sleep. Okay. A lot of make money while you sleep has hurt a lot of people. I'm going to be sharing another potential like that with us on Binance. Why you can make money while you sleep, but not in this video this video is long enough i'm going to do that in another video where i will show you okay guys i promised you that i was going to tell you how to get on this platform like these people that are here you can see this one is a verified merchant these ones are ordinary merchants now for you to get to this point you need to have a minimum of 20 trades this one has 27 here and 100 percent completion rate so it's good okay this one has about um 1076 and has 91 so this person has even a good completion rate than this one, but this person has done more trades. So that is how it works. This one has over 3,000 trades, and then it has um, less than 100% completion rate. Okay, it's not a bad one too. This one is verified, and you can see. All right, so that is how it works. Now, for you to get on this platform and become an ordinary merchant, you don't have to break your head to become a verified merchant. Like all these ones are ordinary merchants. All you need to do is ensure that as a customer, you have been able to execute at least 20 trades completed and you have at least 80% rating, 80% completion rate. Once you have 80% completion rate, you are qualified to do transaction on this platform. So that is what you need to do. You need to do some kind of buying and selling. If you buy from other platforms, you come here, you can sell and make some profit. You can buy from Coinbase, you can buy from KuCoin, you can buy from Paybees. Wherever you can buy your cryptocurrency and bring it to Binance and sell, it counts for you as trade, okay? So 100% completion rate is very, very good, but 80% is what you require to get started as an ordinary merchant. So it's very important that you keep that in mind. By the time you do that, you are qualified to come here and place your advert, you know, on the sell section so that people who want to sell can pick you out and sell to you and then when you buy from them here you now go to the buy section and then you go and sell to people who want to buy okay so Binance has been here for a very long time and it, they've proven themselves to be trustworthy so we can um, trust the platform better to do business here but you must be careful even on this Binance platform there are scammers here there are so many people here who can scam you so you must not release your coin until you get the payment you are sure that you have gotten payment before that. And the escrow section is still going to warn you once you are making this transaction. But I'm still sounding that warning. So you bear that in mind. Um, though we say that it is low risk, yeah, but you have to be careful because there are people who will just tell you that they have made payment and then you, you didn't get the alert. You just click that you have received payment. You are going to lose your coin because you didn't um, get the alert before. You didn't get the money before you released the coin. So you don't have to release the coin until you get the money. Likewise, if you do not pay the, 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 the seller, the seller will also not release the coin. So you have to try as much as possible to be fast about making your payments. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching this video. If you found value in this video, please smash the like button. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in another video.